Well, good day, madam, sirs, who are joining my show. Cheerio! Fists and chips and bloody hell. Kicking off with some stereotypes of England. And I know my accent is not that good. But we just arrived from the ferry and we're waiting for the checkout. But it takes a long time as you can see. Oh well, you don't can be lucky all the time. It's just crazy how long this takes. Check those lines. Yeah, there should be a better way or, or yeah. I'm used to lines in Norway and customs. But sitting here, doing my time, my, my work time. It's just, yeah, mind blowing. The problem of being a Dutch guy in England. Congratulations, welcome in England. Picked out to go to the customs and their scan. I am one lucky bastard. Luckily, it doesn't take that long. Everything is okay, so I'm back on track. Making path to the open road.
It's my first trip in England and I'm really stoked. I'm really curious about the country. How will the people be? How is the traffic? Well, I think it's pretty going to be pretty okay here. My friends from England, which I have on social media, are really great and really nice. So I've got a good feeling about it. So we're coming from Harwich and we're going to Wishaw to the Belfry Hotel. And it's paying attention because we drive at the other side of the road. Or at the normal side of the road if you live in England. Hi hi! And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, easier than you'll think because uh, you just blend in with the traffic actually. You only have to pay attention when you're at the industrial area or something. Something where it's uh, not much traffic and you leave a company or something like that. It didn't happen at yeah to me but I heard some stories about it and yeah there's some sense in it Driving on these two lane roads along the houses give a good first vibe of England. I love the scenery, the houses are right, it's cool, it's crowded though, but the roads are still good. We'll manage it. I think I could have used the inside lane here. That's the first thing I have to learn here. It's uh yeah, the signs are a little bit different sometimes. Or the roads, yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> we're in a traffic jam. Yeah, also here in England. The speed and the mileage are all in miles in England. Yeah, it's like mileage, I said it already. But yeah, <laughs> like the kilometers are all in miles, not in kilometers. Okay, and I, <laughs> I ordered when I bought my truck the, op or the optional... Um, man, I <laughs> lost all my story now. Uh, when I bought my truck, I bought the optional mileage gauge in the middle of the speedometer. Uh, not only it's easy when you're driving here, but it also looks pretty cool, I think. Yeah. A very short fuel station. And it took my notice during the day that there are not many resting areas here. And often they are small like this. To my friends from England, am I correct? And when it's yes, where can you park normally then? Let me know.
new roundabout. And for the English guys, this will be a piece of cake. But I find it quite confusing though. <laughs> There's a uh, sign here that you have to keep a left to go straight. But after this overpass, I should have kept one to the right actually. From the left, yeah. And that's my bad because I missed a sign here, but yeah, it's quite confusing though. But I have to say, it's a big applause for the patience and kindness of the English people. They just let you in between without any problem. They sign, wave, go, yeah. And that's what I saw during the day on more places, so... Really, really cool. Really kind people. What a beautiful piece of England. Look at these sights. And the weather is perfect too. No rain in England? It's almost like they did it just for me. Look at this, a ghost traffic jam. There are no problems, but there's a really Big jam here. Step on the land, I've got your hand, and now we're way down. Fade, I know. Was it your plan? Can't understand. I love the air you bring. Okay, I don't understand this roundabout. Maybe you can help. First, I'm in the correct lane, according to the sign. 
then I should be one to the left actually. But there's no sign saying that. Is it just an English thing or did I see something not good or wrong? Help, help! <laughs> Oh yeah, the Volvo guy was a little bit impatient. Sorry. In her heart there's a hole, there's a black mark on her soul. In her hands is my heart, and she won't let go till it's scarred. Try to breathe, but I can't, cause the air she feeds me is damned. Got a touch, like a thorn, cause the girl she's hiding horns. She got blood. How it's uh, coming over on me, you know. From the fire she breathes, she got horns like a devil pointed at me, and there's nowhere to run from the fire she breathes. Horns like a devil pointed at me, she got. Like I said, so many signs. It's probably just what you're used to, but yeah. Let me know your opinion. Also the guys from England, let me know how you see it.
so here we are, the Belle Fry Hotel. And I think this is very special. How often do you get at a hotel or a golf court? Yeah. Now, now I just have to find where to report myself. After a half hour, they know where I have to be. That was giving a wrong entrance, but they will bring me to the right spot. With all the trees, I'm not so happy though, but yeah. Notice the truck on the left. That's where I should be. Well, I heard that after this already. The guy in front of me brings me to, yeah, the wrong spot. And yeah, I stop here because it looks like a dead road, you know.
I'm going to check it out by foot. Walking big like a bear. Hey, some candy. La 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 la. Backing up in the right parking. And it's quite narrow. And the sun is in my face, so that's not helping either, but well managed. We always do. Now, the unloading will come in a new video. Because this is already a one half, yeah, an half hour, and I think that's long enough. Let me know, yeah, I think that's a quite good time. So. But, uh, yeah, it stays like this. Uh, <laughs> when you want to see uh, the, the unloading, make sure to check out the next video. Uh, probably in a week and I want to take the time for that as well so I'm, that's why I'm also uh, putting it in the next video yeah long story short notice it's a uh, short notice yeah it's just coming in a new video <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed it uh, and thanks for watching thumbs up we'll see you soon cheerio